dollar, one dollar. One dollar make you holla. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, shut up, I'm recording. I was screaming. I have only one thing to do and that's be the way that I am and then sink back into the ocean. 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 Welcome to The Other Perspective. I'm MJ. And this is AJ. And what's the good news? Oh, everything's good this week. Everything is good. We're renewed for season four. Yeah. We um, are. The I'm, affair also. <laughs> <laughs> also the affair. Because, also the know. affair. But us, more importantly. <laughs> Our podcast is based on that. We've, so. We're renewed for another season. <laughs> no one's paying us, but you know, we just renewed ourselves. This podcast is brought to you by... I'm just kidding. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by Prosecco. Which kind? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Once they start paying us, we will let you know. We'll let you know the brand. <laughs> stop giggling anyway yeah let me stop giggling i'm i'm looking at you because i'm trying not to talk over you <laughs> I, I let you talk you All see right. that i gave you yeah, some that's, space that's what a conversation is like sometimes when we're talking you know when we're talking as friends like we're talking over each other like you know it happens it just that's how it is i don't so, know any kind of conversation where no one overlaps and no one giggles that's just so weird I'm not going to giggle anymore. That's yeah. It. Let's, let's, That's it. let's be serious. Let's talk about Helen. Let's talk about Noah. Because there's nothing funny about this episode. It's it's a pretty serious episode. Nah. Which, is, which pretty... takes us back to our overall feel and our first reaction. Look at that, yeah, look at that segue like there. That, I like that segue, <laughs> girl. What did you think about this episode, MJ? I liked it a million times better than last week's. What did I you do think? too. I do too. I feel like it's like the conclusion of last week. Like last week was kind of like, okay, so what the hell happened? You know, tell us more. And then we're like, okay, well, you know what? Let's not talk about Cole, you know, or no Allison. Cole, no Allison. Let's continue on to these two so we can figure out what the hell's going on. As much as I wanted, I always want a Cole perspective. It just wouldn't make any sense to, I know, to I go see what's, what's happening over in Montauk. Yeah, um, but yeah, whatever. Uh, it's fine. Let's I feel just like get he's not. Over with. He's not getting a lot of um, screen time. Season. Yeah, well, he, not a lot of screen time this season. He's only had one. Is it one? It. Oh shit! That's right. We're already at episode seven, and uh, he's only had one perspective. Oh, Cole, it's okay. Uh, it's okay, Pacey. Oh, Montauk. <laughs> <talk. laughs> oh, Montauk. We still want to go to the lobster. Oh, roll. we're going there. We're going there for sure this summer. I'm so to go. we're going to do a, a special summer podcast over in Montauk, which is know? where we just talk into our phones and that's going <laughs> to get. <laughs> and it's much. just us chomping away <laughs> at a sandwich. <laughs> so, yeah, I liked it a lot better than last week, but, you know, it's still it was all right. Uh, yeah. But I do like that we had, you know, or we had another parallel perspective episode yeah i always enjoy it when i'm always like like looking at parallels and and it's like oh wow that's a huge fucking difference it's i always enjoy that yeah exactly and affair always gives that like it makes me think about like our lives like our daily uh, especially when we're trying to recall what happened that night yeah was she wearing a black shirt or was it oh no oh it was pink or just how (laughs) she looks the, how she perce- people perceive did things. she brush her hair yeah I, mm, so maybe. It's, it's good it makes us think yeah i had a lot of time on my hands <laughs> this week so we're gonna have some comparing clips is it because a slow week for you or just kind of a slow week okay. for me just like this episode was <laughs> <laughs> it's a slow week over and uh over you know at the affair over at the fair <laughs> and with their lives is really slow <laughs> it's very you know, when you're slow. not working it's really slow when you're in the neighborhood, it's pretty slow. <laughs> anyway, so right. our first perspective here is Helen. Again. Yes. When I saw that, I'm like, ah. Oh. Again. All right. Give it to me, girl. All right. Let's you just know? get this over with. This like, entire episode is like, let's just get like, this I over with. I already know how you perceive yourself. Like, I get it, girl. You know? But, you know, after watching both of uh, both perspectives, especially with the parallels, I'm like, I still don't know 
who I believe and it's like the way that they see themselves it's still hard for me to kind of understand whose perspective is right and it makes me think like do I do that to myself like am I exactly am I really super sexy when I'm like you know deep down crying inside that's me every day (laughs) except I'm like (laughs) I'm crying all the time I'm crying 24 (laughs) 7 But people seem to like me. <laughs> so I don't know. It's just a walking Zoloft ball. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So so the- it's, it's the aftermath. It's yeah. the aftermath of Helen finding that um, Noah is Noah, fucking crazy. Noah in the lake. You know, I kind of thought we were still going to be like spending time at that lake. I thought lake. so too. But I didn't no, think they were that. like, they're hauling ass. Yeah. They're like, we don't, we only have three episodes left <laughs> we need to get out of here. Probably like, is it a ghost? Are you fucking crazy? You know, <laughs> no one said anything. Here. No one said anything. But I mean, they didn't address that. Well, That's what's kind of, I don't know, later I on, like that. Noah later on asked if his infection from his wound makes him see hallucinations. Yeah, so but they never addressed. They never did, like completely. What, yeah, because what he was doing. Both of them are kind of like a hot mess where they. They only have each other on their minds. I don't know. Or Helen is only thinking about taking care of Noah and yada, yada, yada. No one's talking about this lake anymore. Yeah. They're over it. Just like I was over it. Yeah. I guess everyone's over it. Everyone's over it. Over at the affair. They're like, let's. So Helen, this is Helen's perspective we opened in. And he, she's driving Noah back to, I'm, we're assuming her house. Yeah. And again, with a holding hand. I was like, oh yeah, my God. Yeah, I was like, oh no, who are you going to run over I now? I know. I'm, I get so paranoid. Every time I see this, I was like, oh my God, Someone's they're going to fucking gonna, kill someone. Kill someone. <laughs> and then they're going to switch seats and, you know, it's going to hold, it's going to be the whole thing all over again. This time someone's <laughs> really, Noah's really going to say, Martin, no, <laughs> don't. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, Noah's pretty much a hot mess. Um, so is, is Helen. The way she sees him, like, she sees him as this, like, fragile being, and he even admits, like, he needs help, which is not really his thing. Yeah, he does, but he's not really... He's not really the fragile kind to even admit he needs help, but, uh, yeah, in Helen's eyes, she was like, I need to take care of this poor yeah, little baby. Yeah, I must baby. say, in this overall perspective, um, or in this overall episode, I believe Noah's perspective. I believe More. Noah's perspective. I do too. Well, no, that's not. Well, it's it, it makes it's a hard. little bit more sense. Except the ending, because the way that they filmed it, it's very hazy. So he's seeing what he wants to see, and he's hearing what he wants to hear. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. So everything that has everything, to do with Gunther. Well, definitely. even just talking to Helen, she was the she was the focal point, but everything around him was very soft. If you did, you notice that. I feel no, like I he we can was. Get, yeah, yeah, we'll get. We'll, we'll get, get to there. that. We'll get okay, so the but first yeah. scene is Helen driving him back, and it's, yeah, that was so they, it. That's all she remembers. We never focused on on anything that happened at on the anything lake. else, anything yeah. in the middle, or anything in the middle of that. So the next scene was Helen back at her house, getting the bed ready for Noah. Yeah, he's going to be staying in the basement, and she is trying to call Nina like but But it's like she's doing she's doing the right thing and like calling Nina and trying to tell her what's happening but at the same time is like but don't worry about him you don't need to take care of him I'll do it but it's so awkward they just had this conversation they just had like a really weird conversation I wouldn't pick up the phone either you know and she's like I wouldn't call Nina if I was her um, no, I think it's the. I think that was like the right thing to do after seeing your but brother. But not like, saying everything that she said. She's like, "Look, I know you're screening my calls." Blah blah blah. You know, never saying anything about like. I know we had this weird conversation. I know you're. Last I know you're mad at me. You cussed I know me out. JP you know? is mad at Noah. Like, yeah, it's yeah. just so weird. Like, it's I weird. would make it quick. Like, hey, hey, your brother's no, here. Your brother's here. I'm I found to get, him in the lake. Yeah, you need to pick him up. It's not like that. He's like, oh, yeah. it's, no, it's not. Yeah, like that it's at more all. like trying to make an excuse for her to keep him. More oh yeah, like totally. It. Also, it was kind of like, I feel like she's just covering her ass. Like I did call Nina. She's not answering, but I'm gonna take care. Of, so that means I can take care of it's him. It's a long ass message. That's yeah, what I'm trying to it's say. Very, it's very, it's very, it's very unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, she's. I like how she's also like, he'll be okay. 
we'll be okay. Yeah. All right, girl. Okay. I think it's like she has plans. She has plans because I'm a caretaker. That's my archetype. Oh, God. I know. Don't let me rewind to last week. I don't know how we survived that. uh, I'm not sure either. Yeah. So, Um, yeah. She she went ahead and knocked in the bathroom because Noah's taking forever. And she finds Noah just sitting there. She's like, "Uh, what are you doing? And he's like, I just need to sit down. And I need some. (laughs) He he needs privacy. And she's breathing all over him. See, my thing is, like, if she really, really liked Vic, she would have called him on their way home. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, she waited till Vic was home. And like, oh, yeah, by the way, um, my ex-husband, dad. You know she would have kept him, kept Noah a secret if she could. Like, oh, she yeah. She wouldn't tell anyone. She'd keep him locked in her basement. Like, like a, a little fucking, psycho? Yeah, like a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> well, Whitney does call her crazy later, so. Everyone's, call, everyone's, everyone's calling her. calling her crazy. Yeah, that's my, that's She's what I said. She's a little crazy. It's going to be a drinking game this season, or this week, at Like, least. who's crazy this week? So, Noah's there, just, you know. She's, he's like, I just need to sit down, you know, take it all in. Um, you know, infect my wounds some more with this water. Yeah, um, I I truly think, like, Helen, yeah, and Helen's trying to help him in all the ways she can. I think she just really likes being needed by him. It's, oh, like, she yeah, misses totally. that so much, even though she has kids and a Vic. Yeah, this, and, and what do you think about her, like, trying to carry him from the bathtub? I, like, completely rolled my eyes on that one. I'm like, what? what? Yeah. What? Just let him be, you know? Exactly. Um. Also, I'm like, yeah, like, going back to the whole thing with Vic, it's like, it's like she told him when he was already there. Like, how did Vic not know? The whole thing is just shady. Like, if you really like someone. She doesn't. Yeah. She's not, I, she, a, she's not she, all in. She doesn't give a shit about Vic. So, obviously. So, here's, you know, Noah. He's trying to, she's trying to carry him. Out of the bathtub, like a little baby. It's just kind of weird. And Noah's like, what the hell? You know, can you give me a little privacy Yeah, he here? needs a little privacy. You know, so she goes upstairs, you know, checks out what she has going on to eat. Of course, for Noah. And Vic just happens to be there. Yeah. And of course, Vic's not working. He, has he got a late, a late start. He has a late start that day. Everyone has sc- a late start today. I don't today, scrub you know? till noon. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Everyone. You know, so it must be nice to have a late start as a doctor. And not have to pay as much rent. <laughs> the logistics. He's, people, the logistics. Yeah, I know. He's like, how much can I take to not be able to pay rent? <laughs> so I was like, all right, Noah's downstairs. Your ex-husband, dad. That you said you were, went over, to you j- were done jail, with. Went that someone's, uh, um, you know. Trying to trying stab to him. They might follow he's him. Here, he's here. But he's going to be out the end of the day, right? Right. All right, I'll say. All right, fine. Cool. We good. We good. Relationship on. Oh, crazy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he does want him out. And, uh, after he's already expressing his discomfort with the whole situation, she's like, eh, you mind taking a look at him? <laughs> he's like, oh, all right, I guess I can. But that's how you know that he loves Helen. Because he went, he would go and do that for her. Yeah. And then, um, he goes downstairs and <laughs> Noah's like, ooh, Dr. Ulala, which is a, a podcast thing that we did i think it was our second second or third podcast that we totally. called him dr Ulala. so i don't know showtime i guess we're on the same hmm. wavelength i guess i guess we are the right people for this show yeah i don't know what to <laughs> tell you because that's what we uh mentioned in our podcast i don't know who's uh who's gonna sue who <laughs> i'm kidding jk jk um so yeah the whole thing with Vic, it's he you know he's doing the right thing is checking out his neck, and Noah's being a little stubborn ass and just immediately wants more Vicodin. Yeah, so the whole time that he was down here, Helen was with him, too. Yeah, exactly. So just want to make a note of that for, you know, Because we do, reference. we are going to have the parallel scenes, um, which is great. Uh, makes this episode a lot more interesting to dissect, because we... We get to see this scene again later from Noah's perspective. But, um, so, so he did the right thing. He's like, I'm not going to write you uh, Vicodin because l- it looks like you're addicted to it. So yeah, you I'm, need an antibiotic. It's an which infection. Is true. Exactly. It, but I was like, hey, didn't Vic say how come there's no stitches? <laughs> no one is mentioning anything because he mentioned no that too. No one's me- mentioning No one's stitches. mentioning anything about stitches. I mean, so, it, it, it's, it, I guess it wasn't a life-threatening stab to the neck. <laughs> 
But uh, Noah, you know, Vic asks how much how much Vicodin he's taking. First, he's like, uh, six or ten. <laughs> I know six or ten is a huge difference. And yeah, he's like he 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 gives Helen that look like this fucking guy is addicted. No, and then Vic's like, you know what? I should not be dealing with this. Shit. Exactly, he shouldn't be. But <laughs> whatever, he loves Helen. That's why he's doing this. Um. So he, you know, he takes a look at the wound and he's like, you know, if it gets any worse, he needs to go to the ER. So he's he's only prescribing him the antibiotics and not the Vicodin. And that pisses Noah off. He's like a real <gasps> drug addict. He's like, ah, no Vicodin. How are you going to deny me? Yeah. How are you uh, going to deny me with the medication that I need? Yeah. And he's like, go beg, go beg him. <laughs> oh my like, God. Helen's like, okay. Oh, do you, are you really you really in that much pain? Wrong? What else do you need, young baby? <laughs> Anything for you, Noah? Come on, Helen. Open your eyes now. Come on. He's addicted. But she doesn't yeah, care. Yeah, that's the next thing upstairs. Vic is like, open your eyes, Helen. Don't just see what's going on. Yeah, and I like how he's like, tell Nina to take him. Like, another person Nina got to take care of? Maybe she does it. She deserves the house now. <laughs> no, she... Yeah, someone... Someone needs to live in the house. But also, it's like, now, first she had to take care of the dad. Now she has to take care of her drug addict brother. I think Ball is in her court now. Like She deserves that but house more than how Noah. how did he get addicted to Vicodin? I guess it's from the injury well, from the prison? Yeah, he was taking Vicodin there because of the shoulder injury. And then Allison even says later on, like, you got to be careful. Those things are addictive. So that was what explained his addiction. He got, yeah. he got addicted to it. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. Um. So, yeah, Uh. after a talk with, you know, she promises Vic that he'll be out by the time he's home. Like, that she'll take care of and, it. And, and, like, deep down, I was like, no, this bitch is lying. Yeah. This There's bitch ain't no... gonna let him go. She needs to take care of There's him. There's no way this guy's gonna be out. And yeah. Her being the way she is, there's she, no way that she's going to kick him out. Totally. She wants to be the one to take care of him. She could probably keep blowing up Nina's phone. She could easily just drop him off yeah. at Nina's place. West Orange. It's she not that far. Do that. She was just in the neighborhood yesterday. It's actually on the way back from <laughs> Pennsylvania. She goes just so, plopped him on I her, on her doorstep. Prior to this podcast. Logistics. But yeah, no, she she definitely wants to be the one to take care of him. So she goes back down and she has like the talk with him, you know, like um, she's so worried about him. Like she brings him the Tylenol with Cody. She's just such an enabler. And and an Ambien. Oh, oh he loves the Ambien. He's like, yes. Yes, finally. But also, can, I have, a, no, can I have one more of those Tylenol? <laughs> please, please. Give me, give me one more of those Tylenol. Oh, no. Give me more drugs. More drugs. You should go back to swimming or something. <laughs> You know, find another way to release your, your problems yeah but yeah like they they talked like helen's so worried she wants to know you know what's going on with him and he's a, he's just a mess like he continues to admit that he is a mess and um his phone rings yeah yeah and that's like his parole officer and he doesn't want to answer it and then he kind of just tries to avoid the whole thing you know what? Sleep. It's your parole officer. I you need to go to sleep, and I, I'll handle this. I'll, ha- I'll I'm handle I'll this. I'm a caretaker, like uh, like Carrie Carrie Washington. It's handled. It's handled. <laughs> Before he goes to sleep, he he tells he tells um Helen like it actually it feels good to be back here. Yeah, and look at his face. He's like so fucking high. Yeah, he's like, so out of it. And she, you know, she's holding on to that. Oh, yeah. She's Helen's so holding like, on oh, to that. I knew it. He's like, I knew you felt that way. He's like, he hears the kids, and she's like, the kids aren't even here. Oh, I know. And that makes her even more worried. Like this dude is this... hearing stuff. I can't let him out of my sight. I can't just kick him out of this house. I got to take care of him. He's hearing things. This is a big house in New York where the basement <laughs> and a walkout basement I love and it. a nice kitchen. I love Damn, loving Helen? it. Jealous. Yeah, girl. <laughs> but yeah, she's very worried. Hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, she she takes his phone and calls his parole officer up. Helen keeps referring to herself as 
his wife, which is yeah, she you know this is not that. the second time. The the it's other been time three was years. the other time was at the uh, Martin's um, oh the school meeting. meeting, yeah. And then now it's this, you know. It's just she can't she can't get over it. She's never gonna get over it. She loves Noah. She'll always love him, no matter what he did to her. She's going to, like, she'd go back to him in a heartbeat, just like her mom and Bruce. Yep, exactly. Like so, mother, like daughter. She's like, the thing is, Noah's sick, you know, and she can't, he can't answer the phone right now. That's yeah. why I'm calling back. And it, she, her telling Vic that he'll be out tonight, she already had it in her in her mind. She tells the parole officer, like, Noah's going to stay a day or two, and I'll bring him in on Monday. She, like... She doesn't care about Vic. No, she doesn't. Vic I mean, is the furthest thing from her mind. Like, I knew that already when she didn't call him on his way back to bring Noah. Which is kind of messed up, because Vic is a nice guy. Vic is great. You know, so... Again, we'll take Vic. All of a sudden, you know, Here Whitney comes, comes in. Hurricane Whitney. How does this look? Helen's all, like hushing on the phone you know i know with a she's like officer. so but you know whitney's in her own little world that she's she's not going to notice her mom's weird behavior so yeah she's looking for a can't like a tent yeah she's gonna go um uh camping with fur cat Up north. she's like oh is the tent downstairs and helen's like no no don't go down there it's not it's gone it's gone like she's so freaked out no at first she's like Oh, there's uh, plumbers working now. Oh, yeah, the plumbers. That's her and excuse then, the like, whole day. She's like, um, okay, I'll just find it around them. I don't know. And she's like, oh, yeah, 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 your dad took it already. I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. After that, it's like they uh, they kind of hear the commotion outside, and then they see um, Fur Cat is punching the shit out of, out of Noah, and he's just getting... Yeah, so this into. Is the, the only thing we saw. Actually, that was pretty exciting. I was like, okay, I like this <laughs> oh, episode already. Yes, it's just so much better than last week. <laughs> so, Furcat's punching the shit out of Noah. Yeah, and then... And um, we don't know why. Yeah, and but Furcat, you know, he's like, he started it. Is that what Furcat said? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, you know, uh, I'm just going to go to REI. For the tent? <laughs> like, he doesn't even care about the whole situation. He, makes, he just cares about the tent. <laughs> he makes all that vagina picture money. He should just go, should have just gotten his own that's tent to begin with. That's what I don't with. understand. Like, how uh, come, come he on, just... Come on, people. And does Whitney still live here? Is that No, the... she's staying with, she's staying with Fur Cat. But she wanted to, she was probably like, I have a tent at home. <laughs> Let's go get it. That's so weird, it isn't is it? It is so weird. It's so weird. Like, it's just... Showtime's like, hey, let's find a way to, you know, have all of them collide. There's, yeah, exactly. Over a tent. Could have been solved if they just went to REI in the first place. You know, the one point that when I realized that Whitney has daddy issues, though, is when they were inside and she was talking to her mom and she was like, oh, how old is Furcat's daughter? Because they're going to see a concert. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. apparently. Oh, they're going to see the. For Kat's daughter playing a band, yeah, right? Upstate, yeah. That's why they're needing a tent. I guess it's one of those Woodstock thingamajigs. Coachella. <laughs> We're here. So, um. Bonnaroo. <laughs> Just a thingamajigs. <laughs> oh God, a that, music festival. so not hip. So it's probably one of those things. This is when I realized, oh my God, Whitney has daddy issues. Oh, totally. Uh, yeah. During this, like. Whitney and Helen just have a really great conversation or argument, if you will. She tells Whitney the truth about, like, you know, how many assistants has he gone through? You're just going to be another assistant he's going to date and dump. Um, and she's in denial. But yeah. at the same time, Helen's also in denial when Whitney calls her out. Actually, yeah. I do have this clip, so let's oh. watch this one. Birdcat cares about me. Oh, Lord. He's the only one who cares. He went after dad because he knows what dad's done to me. Done to you? You live in a fucking fantasy world, mom. I'm sorry, I don't know what to do about it anymore. You can't see anything that's happening. You're obviously too upset to have an adult. You let dad back in this house! Shh, lower your voice, he's right down there. Girl. What do you think is gonna happen now, mom? 
we just go back to being some happy family? We forget everything that dad did to us? <laughs> Why do you hate yourself so much? It's my favorite. <laughs> I don't. She's lying to herself the entire episode. I want Whitney's perspective. You know, I used to think that dad was the crazy one. <laughs> now I realize it's you. Oof. <laughs> Girl. You just realized that? You just realized it? Girl, whole family's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> oh my god. It's no wonder she's the way she is. But I loved it so much. That's great. I love it. I'm loving I'm loving Louisa telling the truth. I love in Nina telling the I, truth. I'm loving what? Whitney telling the truth. Like we need their perspectives. If, I'm all that's about it. That's what I was going to say. If, like, the French girl has her perspective. See, I, I don't even remember her name now. Out of sight, I don't mind. Juliet. If Juliet she has her perspective. Um, everyone else is pers- I think Whitney needs her perspective. Yeah. Definitely Nina. Definitely oh, Nina. Definitely Nina. Because we need to know what happened with and her. And I Nina. know a lot of people hate Louisa, but I want her perspective. I would love it. That means we so, get more coal. <laughs> that's the number one that's reason true. why I want Louisa's perspective. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love that she was like, you know, you're living in a fucking fantasy world, mom. <laughs> yeah, it was like a double, it's like a double shot drinking game here. Totally. You're living in a fantasy world. I thought you were crazy. I thought dad was crazy, but I, now you. I know that it's you. She's the only logical one in this episode. The, I feel like there's always the one. There's always the one in each of these episodes. There's always the one that actually makes sense. And I never thought it would be Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> Loving all the truth bombs, you know? But it speaks to all, like, the the narcissistic talk. Yeah. Neither of them. Helen and Noah, they are they don't see beyond the surface. <laughs> I know. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they only it's... see what they want to see. Yeah. I vote on Whitney's perspective. I would I would see that. But then, you know what? It'd be very annoying. <laughs> I only want Whitney's perspective if it, for dealing, 30 minutes, dealing is with dealing a... with her family. Yeah, I mean, that's... I don't want to know what's no, happening with I her cat. No, I don't think they would do that. <laughs> Who wants to see her at a photo, how, assisting a photo shoot? I want no, that shit. No, I don't think they would do that. I want that shit. <laughs> so the um, next thing after, you know, Whitney leaves is Helen checking up on... Um, Noah here. Like a creeper. Yeah. She's probably like, like what? She probably watched him for like two hours. Just, sit, it's like, just if, standing there I over know, his But if body. Noah's like all like drugged up, how did he get up and go outside and, you know, try to like see who's there and see if Whitney's there and whatnot? Like it's, if I was all that, like I just go to sleep, man. Like I don't even, I don't even care who's outside. It's his his overly paranoid mind. Ugh. Everything he hears, any noise he hears, he's gonna be on alert. So Helen, yeah, she uh, sleeps w- next watching to watching over him. Falls asleep next to yes. him. Yes, which is the weirdest thing because it's so hard for me to fall asleep, and especially with everything that's that's going on in her life. Yeah, like I mean, I would want some peace and quiet. I don't know. I you know need some melatonin or something. <laughs> You know, it's just, I can't believe she fucking slept. <laughs> she wakes up, it's like nighttime already. It's like dinner time. And it's just like, yeah. oh shit, I gotta oh, cook dinner. Oh shit, my kids are home. I need to actually cook for That's... them. But but I think even more than that, I just I just find it very creepy that she decided she needed to sleep next to Noah. Oh, it's totally creepy. She's a little nutso. It's like everything her daughter literally had just said to her brush it off yeah i'm just gonna it's like she's you like know you, know what? you know what you want to tell me all that stuff i'm gonna go downstairs and sleep next to him yeah it's like in case you wake up noah i'm right here i'm right here because i need to take care of oh, you God. Oh, it kills me helen you kill me yeah, you continue man. to kill me well she's yeah doing, she's you doing kill great me, though you kill me in your perspective yeah in Noah's perspective, I like you, girl. Yo, yo, uh, <laughs> shout out to Mara Turney. She's killing it this season, yeah. man. She, she really is. She's doing great. Um, so, but yeah, we hate, we hate no, Nellen. Nellen. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing you know is Water like, oh, Nellen. she wakes up. She wakes up and she's like, oh, fuck. It's like nighttime. It's I like gotta I got to cook. cook dinner. 
She's making that so, spaghetti. I don't have time, so she just pours this fucking bottle yeah, of, she's, like, you know, she, pasta she did the, sauce. She did the work. It looks like it's organic, so good for you, girl, because <laughs> I don't see prego there, whatever, you know, ragu. regular... Ragu, regular brand shit, you know, us normal people would buy. So good for you, girl. But, you know, maybe she's sauteed totally... a little, put a little onions in there. I don't know, garlic. Fast, you know, a little fast you dinner. Know. And she fell asleep for a long time. Now um, I want pasta. I know, I want some pasta too. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, Helen. The Helen is making dinner, and then, you know, Vic comes home, and she's just drowning out everything that's happening. Whatever the kids are talking about, Trevor's in a musical. He can't sing. Yeah. Well, you know, I am... uh, to stop you on that, though, I'm glad they actually showed what food they're eating, <laughs> because that's been my biggest <laughs> issue this whole With season. dinner scenes? Yes. Yeah, we don't know what they're eating. So now we know. It's just Now we know now what they're we know. eating, and so, we want it. You know what drives me nuts about this family scene? It's like they're they're all so comfortable. They're all they all look so happy. Like I know, you know, like they Vic is part of their family. Yeah. They're just chatting up. Even Martin's there, not even throwing a fuss. They're just eating dinner together, and this is what she's fucking up for Noah. I know. It actually looks nice, you know, all the family together. Yeah. And all of a sudden they hear like a little um, glass shatter downstairs. Yeah, a little noise, a little commotion going on Helen's downstairs. like, it's the plumbers. Uh, plumbers at night? Yeah. Okay, Helen. Yeah. I mean, what kind of service are you running here? Are you making them work all night? <laughs> but um, Vic is definitely not thrilled. Yeah, Vic's like, that's it. Uh, those are not the plumbers. I know what that is. I know what that is, and I'm done. He yeah. said, yeah. She, She's, he said, I think I'm finished. I think I'm finished. With a meal, with your ass, with this <laughs> motherfucking family, <laughs> I am done. I'm, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to go to work. <laughs> I'm going to pick up some extra shifts. You know, the overtime pays more. <laughs> so I'm going to do that instead of... Dealing with this crazy ass family. Oh my gosh! And after that, you know, she just kind of just yells at the kids like, "I need a minute. Yeah. I need some time. And Give more, me some space." And everyone's like, "Dude, you why just... don't you leave?" Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You just served us food, which and then... we literally just saw you like pour it out <laughs> from a jar. So why don't you go upstairs? Why don't and... you go take your minute upstairs? <laughs> Take your minute and leave. We're trying to eat here. I'm so annoyed with that. I uh, killed me. It's like, why do they have to leave? They're not even done eating. Look at all that food they're wasting. It's I'm like, hungry. It's only eight o'clock. <laughs> um, but yeah, so and you uh, know we're just gonna listen through a room. Let's see what's going they're on. Just gonna hear exactly. You send them to go away, and then they're just gonna so go. Annoying. They're gonna go have their conversation upstairs. Like they're gonna hear everything. What is? I don't. I don't, I don't understand, I don't understand this that at concept. All. I think they should just. I think if I was Helen, you know, like you're throwing this relationship out of door anyway. Just let the kids eat, man. Let them eat. <laughs> so Helen goes up and you know sees Vic packing, and she is saying, so "Please funny don't." Vic's suitcase looks like it's been like packed already. Like he's like. <laughs> He's like ready to go, man. He was ready to go. Ready like, to go. Anytime I hear Noah come out of your mouth. <laughs> Anytime you say the name Noah, my my bag's been packed. <laughs> it's, it's like we go upstairs like one second. It's like halfway packed already. I mean, how many minutes did she need? <laughs> but yeah, so Vic, you know, lays it into her. Let's watch us. You can do what you want, Helen. Because I get how this goes. He leaves now. And then the next time, three months later, or three years, or tomorrow, whenever he shows up with his bullshit, you let him right back fucking in. Exactly. I mean, I, I really don't understand it. Me we either. don't either. We don't. I have tried. We but I don't. To. The only explanation is that you still love him. Ding, ding, ding. No. That's not true. This bitch is in denial. Vic. Wait. Vic, please, wait. I have waited. I'm not always a nice person, Helen. I don't even know if I'm a good person, but I am fucking honest. 
Mm. And I don't know how to live with someone who isn't. Okay, please. Just, Just please. tell me the truth for once. Are you still in love with him? No. Then what is it? Why can't you just let him go? Because she's so in love with him. It's so she's obvious. She's so in denial. I'll miss the kids. Except, except Martin, because he's an ass. You're not my fucking dad. <laughs> Shit, man. Just a mess. Helen's really ruined that one. Yeah. Big time. You think he'll be back? No. Nah, I think this is it for him. He's hanging out with Juliet. They're taking their trip to the <laughs> to the lobster roll together. Maybe they're hanging out with uh, Allison and uh, Cole because we have no idea what's happening with them. Yeah. I'd like to know what's going on over there. I miss them. I don't know how many times I have to say it. But yeah, I mean, there isn't any other explanation. Like, when Vic is like then what is it? Like, there there really isn't any other explanation. She's just, she's still in love with him. And I don't think it has anything to do with the guilt about the car. Like, it has not, I don't think it has anything to do with that murder. No, she's just, no, no, no. She's just, she's in denial that she still, she wants Noah, she'd take him back in an instant if he wow, wanted her. Wow, that's crazy, right? It's sad. We know some people like that. Yeah. She just needs to kind of have a self-realization that, this is what she's doing and just needs to get over it. Or maybe Noah is perfect for her because he's fucking crazy too. And they make so, some crazy kids. Yeah. They already have four or is it five? We don't know. <laughs> How many kids? There's so have? many, man. Is this another one? <laughs> <laughs> so that joke was cute and now it's over because Vic oh, is gone. Bye, Dr. Ulala. R. I. P. <sighs> um So Noah goes upstairs and like He's like, Who's that? Yeah. Did he leave? Who was that? Vic? It was Vic? And I was like, I was thinking here, I was like, okay, if Helen doesn't want the kids to know that he's downstairs, how is he just going to Why come is up? he just like, you yeah. know, going upstairs but all then, willy nilly? Yeah, we find out later, but yeah. it's like, but it, now it's it, weird, it makes right? sense. But also at the same time, it, he's fucking losing it. So I don't think he gives a shit. Like, That's true. Where he's going, who's seeing him. So <laughs> but yeah. Helen looks like he's, she's torn she's up. She's done. She's like and... upset distraught and she's like oh you know it was big he left you know no was like oh is it because of me and i was like what do you think bitch <laughs> so first of all i was like if i was noah i'd be like look man you know i understand he lives here like i don't think i should be staying here now you're taking me back to nina i feel in a way like i know we all always say that helen wants him which is true yeah but in a way deep down inside Noah kind of wants that too. Yeah, because it's what it, he knows. He knows that it, no matter whatever fucked up shit he does, yeah. he knows Helen would be there for him at, in a heartbeat. So I guess that's kind of nice. So Yeah, have a little, was... you know, you have a, a life raft. So yeah, Noah's like asking, you know, was it because of me? I hope that wasn't because of me. And he kind of apologizes to her about Vic when they're out on the patio. Yeah. But at the same time, it seems like What's coming out of her mouth has nothing to do with Vic. It's, you know, she's worried about him. He's apologizing. Like, he's like, I'm sorry about that. Helen just goes on a, on a rant like, why are you doing this to yourself? You're doing this. You're doing that. You're getting your... The, yeah. The, like, why are you're you letting, letting people, people kick the shit like, out of you? Beat you up. You're taking all these pills. This he's... You need to stop punishing yourself. No. Yeah. I forgive you. So when and he... And he's like... You forgive huh? You forgive you me? You forgive me for what? Yeah, it's almost like... Hello? It's almost like he didn't watch the whole, like... His whole... <laughs> season he didn't watch one or season, season one? two. It's like, no, I didn't watch season one or Hello, two. Hello, what the hell is this show all about? You like, fucking started I threw, it. I threw my iPad. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck am I doing the screenshot for? If you don't know what you're... You, the fuck you did. That pissed me off because it's like, yeah, he, it was like he had nothing to apologize for. Like he, he was like, oh, you forgive me? I should I should forgive you for letting me go to jail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse Weren't me? Were you the fuck? Were you, you doing you that? You, it was you. It was you, right? <laughs> I, if I remember, I think it was you that ran <laughs> Scotty over, right? <laughs> Helen should be like, bitch, uh, you're the one that had an affair with that affair, girl who DUI, ended up being the sister-in-law of the guy that we killed. You know, because it's such a fucking small-ass town. <laughs> well, just... time out a little bit. I want to do a um, a challenge for okay. you and I. All right. 
You're like, this is a wild card. Like, what's this, going on? This is fucking uh, random. What, what's happening? <laughs> what's happening? So on iTunes, it, we have an E, you know, because we cuss so much. <laughs> Oh, and I yeah? just realized that, like every other, you know, fucking word we say, <laughs> we we there's an F word or whatever, right? So I want to do I want to do one episode that we don't get an E on iTunes. We can get an E anyway. No, ex explicit. Yeah, we're gonna get one. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna cuss. Oh, okay, in you one. just want to for that's us, our challenge for our yes our sake. Okay, that's our challenge. All it's right. kind of like the drinking challenge, you know. Okay. One episode. Okay. I don't think it's gonna be the finale. No, let's I think, do it the second. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it next episode. No, next because... next time we do the episode. Oh, the one before the finale. Okay, how about this? Do we do uh, a clean episode for Cole or Allison? Ooh. Or are we doing a clean episode for Helen and Mira? All right. I'll do a clean up. Ep- I'll do it clean for Cole anytime. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded dirty. <laughs> See? We don't need customers for that because apparently my tone sounded dirty already Ooh. so next episode Whoa, i bad. challenge us they give me the chill <laughs> i challenge Hold us up. to not get an e i'm on not iTunes. drunk enough for this <laughs> holy look i stopped my holy cool holy cool all right all right I like next this. episode are you like, I like that this. the little like wild that. card like okay that. Let's get a, back on this. That was a definite wild well, card, I was not girl. prepared for that. I just kind of came up with that. Oh, I like that on the spot. <laughs> All right. So yeah, anyway. So uh, after the whole forgiveness thing, um, Helen goes over to Noah and is just like, what if we could just start over and erase everything? Yeah. <laughs> erase everything. Like, what is this bitch talking about? Let's get out of our system here. Because we can't cuss next week. So, and Noah's like, what? Erase everything? Like, I fucking, you know, like all over Montauk. You just want to erase that girl? She, she don't give a fuck if like Noah could go fuck Allison right in front of her. And then if Noah said, I'm sorry, I still love you, Helen. Helen be like, all right, all right. wait, come on, I'll lead you to the bedroom. So weird, right? It is. So yeah, they go into Pound Town. Yeah, they sure um, did. But it's very know, passionate. This my Pound problem Town. with this is that poor Helen has to be right next to that nasty ass wound the oh, entire time. I know <laughs> that poor poor Helen. That unlike you know, uh the non stitched up infected stab wound unstitched wound oh i'm sorry helen but um you know during that whole thing she looks um, like she's enjoying it though she's she's very passionate really enjoying it yeah and then the way her her perspective ends is like they're going to pound town and noah is he just stops and she's like what and then uh that's that it makes you think about season two and the whole um perspective with her quote unquote raping um allison though does it because in his in the in his perspective oh but oh in his perspective yeah 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 but here she isn't she's not saying the whole i know you i know you i know you he he just they're just going yeah. at it right yeah, yeah, yeah they're just going at it they're just there's no talking how i mean how can she i talk? like that though helen's like just shut up she's in my in my head just shut the fuck up I mean, just fuck me you know <laughs> in his she's like Annoying as fuck. I know. I know. You. I shut know the fuck you. Up. I know you. He's like, you don't fucking know me. Yeah. So it makes you. It makes me so, look yeah, that's, back that's and what... um, Allison's perspective about the whole tree thing. Remember when she was supposedly... that Allison's perspective or was that from Noah's? It was Noah's perspective. What what happened? I believe. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, was so, it really? Yeah. So then maybe. Maybe. Hmm. I mean, look at this, this perspective. Looks, yeah, Helen. is very passionate. But at the same time, Helen loves him so much that I don't think she would see him as a rapist. But there wow. she goes crying at I the end of the... I got shut up there. Oh. I'm like... <gasps> <laughs> you just shut up like like us without any cuss words um. next week. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a lot. It's going to be so boring next week. But it's cold, so it's okay. Is it? You watched a preview again, didn't you? I did. Ah, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I did. Damn it all the hell. I love you, Cole. <laughs> oh, I'm excited now. You got me excited. <laughs> that's it for Helen. Yeah. And that we was, are off. That's where it ended. And now we're off to Noah's perspective. 
Hello, Noah, again. So, yeah, no, I got, once I saw this, like, the opening scene of Noah's, I was like, yay, parallel scenes. Yeah. Because here goes different clothing again. You know, the the, the attitudes are different. It, and, it, like, Noah's more alert. He's so alert. Like, he's... Not he's like not, a baby. That he's not like a wounded, Helen, yeah. fragile little birdie. Not like a wo- wounded bird that Helen just picked up from Pennsylvania. Yeah, that she needs to feed food to <laughs> through her mouth. That's so disgusting. It is. She would um, totally But she do would it. totally, she'd do it in a heartbeat. <laughs> she'd feed him all those Vicodin one by one by her mouth. Yeah. Slowly. <laughs> Slowly. She'd Slowly chew it up for surely. him. She'd chew it up for him. <laughs> Grind it up and mouth. snort it and shit. <laughs> Jesus. Helen. But yeah, like we immediately see Helen's just wearing all black like this, like a co op, like <laughs> covert <laughs> affairs. Co op? <laughs> like a food co op? Co op? Is this, are you on the board for your apartment? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I see where you're going now with this. Covert affairs. <laughs> Gotta support my co-host at my all times. Co-host, so. co-op, covert. <laughs> so um, yeah. So uh, I like I like Helen's look. I, I I dig what's going on here. So. Helen's just so much cooler in this. <laughs> This is so much cooler in Noah's perspective. perspective. I love it. Yeah, she's always like a hard ass. Like, I think I've mentioned that before. Like, the way Noah sees her is like, she's no shit, doesn't take any shit. She's not weak. She's not... I wonder how everyone else sees her. That's what I want to know. Sees her, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's what I want to know, too. Like, she... Because we did get the rude awakening of her being like this huge narcissist that doesn't really see anything deeper than still her her perspective i know but but she she knows what nina told her that's true (laughs) so i mean if someone told me that i'd immediately cry (laughs) and i'd remember it forever (laughs) so um yeah i think we're we are kind of seeing what what helen's like in this for sure well i'm liking this i'm liking noah's perspective on helen so while they're driving back to New York, they see Gunther's hunting and fishing shop, and um, Noah wants them like, to wait, stop wait, wait. there. Stop here! I gotta yeah. get something. So he's, you know, he's doing a little spy action for himself. And, Even um, though Helen is the one that looks like a spy, I know that's what I'm <laughs> saying. Fuck. Maybe that's what he was thinking. Like he's like, maybe I should go spy. I don't remember what Helen was wearing. Maybe all black, like a spy. It was like how I feel inside. So I'll just let everyone dress the way I want. I wish I could dress. So, he, you know, she's like, "Oh, do you need anything?" You know, of course, no one's like, "No." no you know, no, around. thank you. I'm just gonna look around. You know, he didn't even say that. He's like, no, I don't. And yeah. He just looked around, you know. So um, he finally got on the clearance aisle. And yeah, was like, oh. he gets a little clearance shiv. Yeah, I was like, okay. He's like, this is about the right length that looks like it went through my neck. <laughs> like, I don't, why? Was he just getting something just to get something? Or, like, to not be rude? You know what? I have no idea. I really don't know. My thought is that he went in to to look around, to do some spying. He got something, and then he needed to buy something in order to talk to the mom. Yeah, but he could just buy anything else but the But knife. clearance, he's a little poor. I know. But <laughs> I don't know. I, didn't, I forgot what else was at the clearance section, but... It's just all knives, I think. Well, maybe he wants, to, you know, protection. That, too. And the way he, like, caressed the knife. Like, it was just so weird. Like, this is it. This is the one. You know, it's on sale. And... It chose me. Yeah, so it's, it's just weird. He's like, oh, do you know um, John Gunther? You know, I think I know your son. And, yeah, he's oh, really yeah, Johnny? Getting... Yeah, he's my oldest. And he just starts, she starts spitting out all this information yeah, about him. Yeah, all the information. Like, he's been a guard, like, he lives near the fish kill. He's been a guard for 20 years. He's even been married for 16 years. He's still married. And his wife has a job at a little hair salon. Like, it's just all this unnecessary information but that... But also, Gunther told Noah that he was divorced. Oh, did he? It was the scene where Gunther went into his cell, and then that's the when he saw... Huh? The typewriter? No, no, he oh. saw Allison's photo on the thing, and then that's when he got real weird. And oh, he was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, He was like, I'm divorced. I was like, why is he even mentioning that? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was like, well, what does this have to do? With I guess You're mommy doesn't volunt- know. They they both, like uh, mother, like son, they like to volunteer information that doesn't 
<laughs> yeah, and I'm like, so I'm thinking, I was like, I guess this is a small town, like not really a lot of customers here, and this old lady found someone that knows his son, so he kind of like, you know, wants to talk. Yeah. Because I've been to like small stores like, or not small, but like, you know, stores like that, it doesn't really get a lot of traffic in like a small Wait, they town. they just want to talk and they see, just wanna, because they're small town folks. Yeah, they just want to, they just want to talk. Chit chat. Yeah. Just well, random conversation. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm guessing that's how she is. So that's that's why she gave out all that information. And but see. also, I think it's also something like, oh, someone actually knows my son. So yeah. yeah, they sound like they're old friends. I'll tell you what what's up with him. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, they go back to the house and Noah wakes up after hearing like Trevor whining oh, yeah. about his cell phone. But yeah, Noah's just completely alert. And then this. Noah's like, Oh, the kids are home or something like, and Helen's like, the kids. Now they gone. The vibe is just so different. Just yeah, this entire it looks like thing. Helen got her shit together. Yeah. For sure. Um, um, Noah's still the same. <laughs> Noah's definitely still the same. Well, he's the same, but at the same time, he's, he doesn't seem as needy. Like the, okay, so when we get to the whole scene with Vic, he's not like begging. He's not like itching for drugs, you know? He's like, yeah. He's just like, hey, do you think you could uh, hook you it could up? Get, hook it up, you know? I do have this clip. So a little thing we're going to do differently this week is because we have the parallel scenes, I decided to cut up both scenes. So we'll start with the whole thing with Noah, Helen, and Vic and the differences there. If you're listening, you've watched it. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know well, what's what. I don't know. We have some listeners that, that don't just watch it. to hear our voice. All right. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> Here's some stuff. Noah. Yeah. Vic said he could take a look at you before he goes to work. I think you should let him check out your neck. Dr. Ula la. <laughs> Dr. Ula. Also, I don't belong here, Helen. You've been very nice, but I. <sighs> you can't go anywhere, not like that. Vic said he would take a look at you before work. Ah, it's not necessary, thanks. I'm out of my payments. I need some more. Do you? Yeah. I might be able to help with that. W- would you mind writing me a prescription for some. Painkillers, please. Why would I do that? <laughs> How much Vicodin are you taking? Uh, 7.5 milligrams, six times a day. Or, I don't know, 10, maybe. He broke his shoulder. Oh, that can hurt. It, it shattered in, in three places, and all they did was give me Vicodin. And if I take 10 a day, I can deal with it mainly. But um, I, I just, I took my last one, and now I... Uh, you're taking 10 Vicodin a day? <laughs> That's a disaster. In the meantime, I'll write him a script for an antibiotic. Two a day for 10 days. An antibiotic? No, I need pain meds. It's been a pleasure. Take care, Noah. You gotta be kidding me. What kind of a doctor refuses medication to someone who's suffering? <laughs> Are you really in that much pain? You gotta you got talk to him. Get him to give me something. I can ask him. I Beg. Can I ask you, if, if an infection like this gets really bad, can it, can it cause hallucinations? Get out. What? I mean it. I'll write you your goddamn prescription. And then I want you out of this house before I call the police to take you back to fucking prison. Look, I think that there may be some misunderstanding. If you're worried about me and Helen... Your wound's infected. You're addicted to opioids. I'm not worried. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about that there's a ton of differences there's a lot of different but in this scenario i believe helen's perspective because me too obviously dr ooh la la yeah but it seems like okay in noah's perspective it seems like he got the vicodin at the end no yeah he did and um so i think helen that... was holding on to it so does that mean that Vic actually did tell him to get out and I'll write you a prescription because in Helen's perspective, he was like, I'm just going to get the antibiotics prescription. He was not going to give him Vicodin. Right, because he did. He's like, oh, I got you something, Vicodin. In this perspective, yeah. And she's holding it like a fucking... A little, little carrot for our little yeah, horse race. Exactly. Mm. She's like, she really has the, the, the Vicodin on a string, and she's like, come get it. Come get it. Come in the bed with oh me. Oh my God, I'm so shocked right now. So that's what I'm saying. Like, 
the differences are are huge. Like for the most part, you know, it's just funny how he's like, oh, I take about six or ten in Helen's, but here he's like, I take ten. Just straight up, I take 10 and... but Or maybe Helen got it from somewhere else. Because in Noah's perspective, she's like, I have some Tylenol with Cody and I'm going to go check it. And that's when she leaves them alone. She didn't leave them alone at all in her perspective. She was there the entire time. Yeah. Uh, and Vic was the one that left. Yeah. So it's very, it's weird to me. It I don't know. It's very confusing because then where would Vic get a chance to say all that? Exactly. And, and actually put in a prescription for Vicodin if that is what Helen is giving him unless he's hallucinating that too. Well, unless Helen got it from somewhere else. You know. It looked like she got it in the same prescription bag, so I don't know. That's a tough one, right? That's a toughie. That's what I love about this yeah. show, though. Where did we get the I drugs? I still haven't figured out the answers, but you I know? like trying to where pick we, at it. Where did we find that drugs? It. Where did they get the drugs? Did Vic do it or not? I need some answers. Vic or nah. Vic or nah. <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> I do have another of the parallel scenes, but this time with the drugs, pretty hilarious. Let's watch this one too. Noah, it's the only thing I have in the house. I'm sorry. One extra special Tylenol. Thank you. I also brought an Ambien. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> an Ambien. Enabler. My favorite. <laughs> I really think you should try to eat something. I'm not hungry, thanks. Order a poppy seed and I got it. said I didn't want it, Helen. Mm. I want to know what's going on with you. You can tell me the truth. You know that. Right? <laughs> Who is that? No one. It's not no one, Noah. Who's calling you? Was it Nina? No. Who's Officer Santos? Is that one of the detectives from your case? Because you should call him back. This is She's my perspective. parole officer. Well, then you should definitely call her back. Yeah, not right now. I can't deal with her right now. It'll take two minutes, Noah. Just let her know you're okay. I'm not. Noah's? <sighs> you should answer that. No, thanks. Just pick it up. It might be about your case. He might have He's some... Not he. She's my parole officer, okay? And no one knows anything about my so-called case, all right? No one knows who tried to kill me. No one fucking cares what really happened. Aggressive. I'm on my own here, okay? Well, sad. I like that in Hell's Lee. What okay. is going on with you, no one? Mm. She's like, sorry I asked. What is it? <sighs> He's more fragile hmm. than Helen's, though. For sure. Oh, God, I'm tired. I think I could finally sleep. <laughs> I'm tired of talking Good. about this shit. That's great. So how do Maybe I the pills this conversation? Yeah. Started working, huh? The pills yeah. do work. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to say all that. I just... I know you're trying to help, and I... <sighs> Look at her. She's such an enabler. Mm -hmm. She's totally, she totally is. I'll see you when you wake up. Yeah, you will. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, for the most part, they're kind of the same, but it's just funny the way that, <laughs> how it goes down in each of them. You know, it's just that, more fragile, yeah, and the, he's more like, a little aggressive. He's like, no one cares. No one cares about me. I'm on my own. It's just a different feel. Like it's The vibe so... is just so different. The vibe is very different. I don't know, man. I like Helen Tuff. Covert like, affair. Yeah, covert affair <laughs> style and Noah's perspective. I mean, that's just me. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather see her like this than her being so... Her hair brushed and sleeked back. Yeah. You know, I like that. I like that, girl. That's how Noah see you, girl. Um, but yeah, she, it's, do we like this? Do we like the doing this cut? Do we like the cut? What do you guys think? Do you like the cut? Yeah, let us know. If you yeah, like let the... us know the parallel scenes. I mean, I know you can't see it if you're, uh, if you're listening, but. But then if But then if you watched us, it, yeah, you, you can kind of get already. from the tones. Yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah, let us know. I think hit it's us a, up on uh, Twitter or I think it's, on a, I think it's a little entertaining. I think so too. <laughs> to I was pretty it. entertained. Yeah, <laughs> it's like whoa, oh, oh, oh. I mean, you know, I'm when writing my notes down and I'm like, holy shit, yeah, well, that was a, a difference. difference. Yeah. So I maybe thought it was we should good. Post these on our like maybe we should make a Tumblr. And then maybe we should post hey, these videos. Hey, when I get that YouTube shit squared away. Oh, then we'll know? post it on there. Yeah, man. All right, cool. I think I think I got it. I'm, yeah. You know, got a lot of time off next week, so. I'm <laughs> like, you, I'm, I'm like Dr. Ooh-la-la. Got a lot of, you got a lot of time? A lot of time off next week. That was me last night putting these uh, <laughs> clips together. <laughs> so, yeah, the next scene is a prison flashback. Ugh. Dude, I know. It's like, ugh. That burger looks good, but that he's so fucking he's disgusting. So, gross. <laughs> he's so, so gross. I have like, I have like mixed emotions for this scene. I'm like, the burger looks good. You look disgusting. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not gonna eat. I'm that also burger. like, I hate Noah, but man, fuck. But again, kudos on Showtime and showing what kind of food is pressing. I know there's a lot of food in this, in this scenario. Very I like that. Cool. I do want that burger. I feel though. like they're listening to us, though. Like, but there's <laughs> everything no way, we're complaining there's about. There's no way they can there's because no way they, they can recorded. Because they've already. <laughs> <laughs> they already filmed this season, so uh, well, whatever. So funny. So, yeah, uh, Noah is. Uh, he's been in. He's in solitary now. Um, and Gunther goes to visit him, and he's you know he's like flaunting his burger, and his ba- yeah he's just. Look at this like, burger. You know they're, where this came from, right? That place, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, from yeah. where they were back then. And Noah is dying. <laughs> He's like, I need water. He needs some water. And the water, the faucet isn't working. John's like, all right, I'll look into it for you. And then he's like, mm, on second thought, <laughs> I, uh, how about I ask you some questions first? <laughs> Maybe you'll get that water, though. But um, he really just wants to know. Like, he wants to know what happened. Well, why can't he believe it, though? I, I don't like, know. I think what he happened. just wants to. Like, that's what I don't understand. Like, dude, he ran someone over. Exactly. I think I do have those clips. It's so that's... funny because in the end of the, in the end, when you're doing the compilation of everyone asking Noah, who was driving oh, the, the car? Oh, the supercut! <laughs> you, the supercut that we're doing. We got for put, the finale. We put you should Fraser put him. Yeah. yeah, I should. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically, this whole this whole scene, it's like he wants he wants Noah to admit that he's not better than him. They're on the same level, basically. <laughs> but um, here I have this. It's so funny. You had an affair. What? The show. You had an affair. That's what happened. <laughs> wow. He's talking about season one. Sure. Sure. So why'd you have you affair? I mean, you had everything. You're like out of armpit Pennsylvania, and you go straight into some fancy college and meet a hot chick. She's rich. Her daddy buys you a house. I mean, hell. Me? I, I, I'd kill just to live that life for a day. But here you are. With me. Can I just have some water, please? It's funny. Because when we were in high school, I was jealous of you. Not anymore. I mean, look at you, you know. You know better than me. In a lot of ways, you're even worse off. Don't you think so? After that, he's just... He wants him to just say he's worse off. <laughs> the entire <laughs> the entire scene. He just, yeah, man. I was like, oh my god, this guy has like another set of issues. Like He's such a bully. He's a huge bully. <laughs> it's really annoying. I hate it's, it. It is annoying, but at the same time, it's just like... Okay, you know, like, yeah, why are you, why what are you your, doing all this? What is your motive? That's what I don't understand. Like, what is it? Are you psycho? Like, what do you want? Like, what do you want? What do you want? I don't get it. Well, there's a one scene. He's like, I just want to live a day in your life. Not anymore. Yeah. He was he's... really jealous. He was jealous. Mm, that's what we heard. It was like, I don't know. It's so weird. It's it's really weird. So hopefully, um, you know, we close out on like, 
what he he wants. Because what this whole thing is all about. I guess that would get be a little, so pointless if we don't. We find get a out. little glimpse of like, oh, maybe they'll tell us what the thing is, and then no, they just tease it again. It's ugh. Yeah. So he beats Noah because he can because he won't admit it. Noah's like, no, I am better than you, <laughs> but he's like he beats the shit out of him, and then I would did Noah just touch him a little bit yeah something he's like, like that's that. assault 90 more days in the hole yeah so and he is crying sucks. he is crying he's like no john no john, john no that's gunther. gunther oh god i really don't know oh, what he's doing so i hope at the end of the season we find out what the hell is going on i hope cause... we learn before the end of the season i need more cole and allison this is getting ridiculous it is Okay. So, the next scene is that enough of his like little flashback. The scene takes us back to, where, to back to uh, Fur Cat. Where, yeah, the what happened with him and Fur Cat from Noah's perspective. He wakes up after hearing um, Whitney, and uh, I guess what he wanted to see her like what Whitney was that wearing something sense. different in this too. But and I'm like, if you took all that fucking meds, like, how are you still a- awake? Yeah, he's and, so like, alert. That's what's weird about it for me. So. Yeah. So he goes out and, you know, he's talking. He sees Fur Cat and Fur Cat's like being smug. I feel like every every guy in his perspective is smug as fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Vic. The way Vic was is just completely. <laughs> he even had Vic wearing like a dress up, like a dressy yeah. uh, No, but that's a nice shirt though. It was a nice shirt, yeah. but it's like. It's funny how Helen has him, you know, more casual, but in Noah's, he's like a douchebag doctor that has to wear dressy clothes. But it's so funny. Well, we'll get to that, but Whitney's, what Whitney was wearing is different here. It's like a bright orange. It's like a bright orange thing. I couldn't hold it in. I had to, (laughs) had to mention what Whitney's wearing. Well, it was completely different. So so yeah, so fucking Furka was like, you know, I'm, you know her lover oh, oh my gosh <laughs> i'm her lover and her boss her lover boss yeah her lover boss so um i you know what i have in my notes for cat looks good <laughs> freaking does look good he looks good and noah's like what are you like 50 <laughs> yeah, i don't yeah. think he looks 50 in this and then, episode you know for cats easily like she's got daddy issues and i wonder why like she tells me everything. She told me about oh the waitress. Oh my god! She told me about the waitress. Told me the about the publicist. publicist. Told me about the hot tub at the, the party. party. Oh, I I had a brief like yeah, flashback. Yeah, no, no, no. To everything was that. a flashback. I was, I was like, like yeah, oh, Whitney. What's up with that? I mean, What's up with that hot tub girl? I'm like, yeah, that's totally why she has daddy issues. Like, it's so disgusting. Ugh. 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 Um, wasn't that the same night that? Joni was being born. Yep, exactly. <laughs> I do remember Another that. Another daughter? I was pretty fucked up. <laughs> That's so... Uh... I don't remember a lot of things, but I fucking remember that. Yeah. No. Uh... So he sees Whitney, like, briefly, and then Furcat just punches him. So, this is what I'm, like, saying. Like, this is Noah's perspective. Yeah. We don't really know what we happened. We don't really know, because we only briefly got a glimpse of it in Helen's. But the thing is, with this... A fur cat in Helen's perspective kind of was just punching him, punching him, punching him. In Noah's perspective, like it was one and yeah. it was a one and done thing. Yeah. I mean, maybe he was just knocked out and doesn't remember the rest of the punches. <laughs> uh, Noah's is well. Either way, mess. he kind of fucking deserved that. Though. <laughs> just for the hot. This is for the hot tub. This is for the hot tub. This, this is for, for the publicist. publicist. This is for the waitress. It's for the party. Shit. God, no, I you had it coming. Um, All that for a tent, huh? <laughs> yeah, for a tent. They should have just went to goddamn <laughs> REI. After that, you know, after the whole punching, like, Noah wakes up around dinner time. This is when Helen is upstairs and making the pasta. But you know what's so funny? He wakes up and he hears, he hears everyone talking about Trevor. They're like, Trevor can't sing. Yeah, no. I was <laughs> laughing because I'm like, that's consistent. Trevor really can't sing. <laughs> they're going on him. Like Stacy's good. Poor Trevor. I know. They're like, he can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Noah's being paranoid again, gets up, goes around, and then he sees 
Gunther just sitting there. Oh yeah, because he what did he go to the bathroom to look for drugs? Or am I making that up to you? No. He got up. I think he just he got up, went to the bathroom, and then he when he looked back at the bed, the drawer was open. Oh yeah, the drawer was open. Yeah. The knife was gone. The knife was gone. And um And Gunther is sitting here in the lighting corner. a cigarette, you know. So pulls out the knife that he bought and then they they just get into a, a stupid fake fight like because he's not really there yeah so i'm like holy shit like how fucked but up he, is noah in the head this is for, for him to go through this fake fight here but this is what i'm talking about it's they're they keep alluding to what it might be like what are you doing here what do you what do you what do you want what are you here for okay it's not weird like i don't like what do you want be a reason you to know why i'm here or like what is it they still not saying what it is <laughs> but that fight well, what looks... is a season what is episode seven yeah. like they, they have to let us know yeah they i need answers i need some answers it, um, but like at this scene i feel like okay i don't think noah's that crazy because maybe gunther is really there nah Yo, I don't because know because it man. because their fight when they're fighting it sounded like noah had some crazy like i heard some crunching like he really hurt like a body part but he seemed fine later i don't know i guess we'll see he see like especially if you got stabbed in the neck you just got punched in the face by fur cat that really happened but he seemed okay to go run up the stairs and just be real cool about how with talking to helen like that's not i don't think that's he's there that's he's well, i just i just hope like you know whether this shit is real or not like i hope they just kind of close it out why they need to close it out i you hate know, this storyline yeah why i'm gonna keep saying i hate it why he's in his perspective and why why he keeps whole thing. seeing him yeah it's just you know this you know what i'm just gonna say it this whole stupid gunther storyline is pissing me off because it it's taking us away from the whole affair the whole affair. It's taking us away from all of them connecting Helen, Noah, Allison, and Cole. There's no connection anymore. It's, it's kind of really like stupid. fucking Juliet. What, what is, is she the, for? What is the point of? They need to close. I swear you to guys, Juliet, to close those out. Juliet better be Gunther, or else I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> They're the same person. They're the same all person. Along. Like what the fuck did? What, what did we need that for? We wasted a whole fucking perspective. You know what? We have three more episodes, so... I'm pissed. Yeah, we'll see. I think I think they will. What? Close this out? Yeah, try they to, They have like... to close it out. It just seems like a waste. Yeah. It's a waste of everyone's time. It really is. <laughs> Ugh, whatever. Yeah, so... anyway, so we need to know what the fuck is going on here. Yeah. Because is Noah going crazy, or... Noah's going crazy, for sure. For sure? It doesn't... It doesn't help that he's on the Vicodin and likes to take Vicodin with wine and go into hot tubs. And he's legit killing himself. So after, you know, the fake make-believe fight, I'm saying it, he go he runs upstairs and he's like, is he gone? <laughs> but, you know, in Helen's perspective, he asked the same thing, but, you know, it was Vic both times. It makes sense now why he was asking if he was gone in Helen's because he thought he saw Gunther. Yeah, no. And not I was Vic. like, what? But, you know, in Helen's perspective, she's immediately like, it's Vic. He's gone. And then Noah's like, oh, it's Vic? Yeah. <laughs> it's and it's so... more calm. Yeah. And he's coming from the basement and not from the front door. Exactly. Exactly. And when he turns around, Helen, cool, calm, collected Helen, you couldn't even tell that she just broke up with someone. She's just like, oh, you're yeah. not leaving, are you? He's You're gone. Still here, right? He's gone. And he's not coming back. Like, it's nothing. She's so super cool about it. And she immediately is just like, I have a drink for you. She didn't even offer him a drink in, in her perspective. Yeah. Augmentin. Is that the, the antibiotics? Yep. And then and she also gets... This? And what's this? Vicodin. Vicodin. Yeah. So, yeah, we go back into the patio and it's it's the same thing we saw last time, but... This it's is a nice apartment with a patio. Super different. It's super different. So, yeah, I, I kind of like this. I like I Helen don't... in charge. No, know? I like this, but I'm just like, I don't know who to believe. So I do have the, the split compilation on this one, too. But like I was telling you, everything in this 
in this part of Noah's perspective, everything's kind of hazy, like as if he's not seeing things clearly either. Yeah, so I don't know. For this time, for this episode, I kind of believe Helen's more, Helen's perspective more. What did you say earlier? You said Noah's. <laughs> God. That's what I'm happens a, though when I'm we watch. A, I'm such a switch hitter. You're such a uh, flip flopper. <laughs> but um, no, I I get that too because whenever I watch it, I'm like, yeah, I believe Helen's, and then I'm like, mm-hmm, God, Showtime, you got us this time. You got us this time. But that's the thing we don't know. Here, let's watch this the way that let's watch the way this one, <laughs> <laughs> how the cookie crumbles on this one. It wasn't because of me, was it? Was it because of me? Was that? It wasn't because of me. Of course it was because of you. (laughs) Are you crying? It's okay. Helen, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go, I shouldn't be here. Vic doesn't belong here. I like that. You belong here. (laughs) Yeah. You went to prison. And you were beaten in prison and you wouldn't let me help you. You should let me help you, Noah, because... <laughs> wow, you really had a lot of I'm time. I'm really the only one who can, who knows the pain you're in. Here. Enabler, man. I have another one. Girl. And you're violating your parole. And you're taking too many pills. And you're letting people kick the shit out of you. We both know what you're doing. You need to stop punishing yourself. Listen, you've done some bad things. (laughs) But we all make mistakes. And you don't deserve to be in this pain. You deserve to be happy. To be with people who love you. You need to stop punishing yourself. I know, I, I... I, There's some similarities. I I forgive you. (laughs) You what? I know you. (laughs) I know who you really are, and I forgive you. (laughs) I forgive you. You forgive me. I do. (laughs) Crazy, right? It's so funny. It's like we don't even have to explain to our listeners what's going on. They're like, oh, yeah, this is... But you see It's just their tone of the voice. It's like... Completely different. You see, the vibes are completely different, but it's <laughs> even just... the background music is different. Yeah, but it's <laughs> isn't it? It that's what I love though, because even if the vibes are so different and the way that they're approaching their conversations are so different, they're basically they're pretty much saying the same things. It's just they mean them in different ways. Yeah. yeah. So honestly, after you know, after watching it, I still don't really know who I believe because the whole thing with the Vicodin still leaves me up in the air. Like you're did, right. Did so how Vic, did you get it? Did Vic actually really threaten him and tell him to get out and he'll give him the drugs? And we just didn't see that. Did Helen think she was actually there the entire time? Maybe Helen begged him and or maybe Helen. I mean, you could easily fake a prescription Not if for Vicodin. Well, if Vic, if, his pad is right there, and Helen kind of is desperate and knows his, her way around. And yeah, maybe. Never I know. I think he really said that to Noah. You think so? Mm hmm. Okay. But I just. But I'm how? Trying to Helen figure was out right the there. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Helen was looking for the drugs. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe Helen had it before, I don't know. you know, this whole thing. So we'll never really know. Or maybe Helen's just like, here. Here's uh, Vicodin, but it's really a Tylenol. Yeah, Tylenol codeine. You know? Hopefully we'll get some answers on that. Cause... Yeah, knowing Showtime, they'll give us some answers. So the next scene is, you know... Uh, the Pound Town? The Pound Town scene and how different it is Yeah, because it, from Helen's perspective. It was more, in her perspective, it was like, it was a passionate... It like, was very passionate. They're on the same wavelength. No one's talking. No one's talking. But, you know, he does stop and she does question, like, what? But in in his perspective, she's like, I know you. I know you. I know you. I, know I do. You. I do. I know you. I know you. What? I know you. He's like, what? 
But that's why I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking she wasn't saying that. She definitely wasn't. I, oh, I'm just thinking about that now. She totally wasn't saying that. And I think he was picturing her, he was hallucinating her saying that. And it was making him angry. Oh, yeah. And that's probably why she, that's why she was like, what? Because why did you stop? Like, oh, it's finally happening. Let yeah. Me shut up and like she just take it in. Exactly. And then he's imagining her being annoying as fuck. And he's like, you don't fucking know me. She's probably, it's so weird, is isn't it? She's probably like, what the fuck is this guy doing right now? And then that's why she was crying. That's scary. Yeah. Shit. I just came to a realization right now that I don't think we can go through one episode and not cuss. Because <laughs> holy fuck. <laughs> It's like, and who does that? Like, you don't know me. I know you. You don't know me. I know you. Like, who the fuck does that You don't fucking know me. And he got rough. And fucking Helen's like, look, man, it's our 25th anniversary last week. (laughs) You know, yes, yesterday. Damn, Helen, Helen had sex with Max yesterday. Dude, Helen's been busy. Yeah, Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Oh, I, yeah, wanna, I would be crying. She too. might want to download Period Diary there because, you know, she's you never the next know. Allison. Yeah. She's pregnant, and then. Uh, you never know. What would really be a twist she's if, having she, hot had, flashes. I if hope she's she had not. sex with Cole? Oh, oh, no! Do not, do not, do not. Showtime twist. I just love that this season, um, the exes are having sex I again, think, with each other. I again. think someone should have sex with someone. Like Louisa and Allison. Whatever, what? man. Whatever, dude. I'm just putting it out there. Okay? Apparently, Showtime listens to us. <laughs> well, if we're going that route, I want <laughs> Allison to have sex with Vic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Juliet and fucking Vic, too. Juliet. <laughs> Why not? Juliet has to get some. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Anyway, God. I'm just saying, like, spread the love, man. But yeah, that's that's that. <laughs> that was you it. You don't yeah. fucking know me. You don't know me, and that was the end of that. But that brings me back again to what you were saying, like about Noah and Allison on the tree. Like, huh? Yeah, it makes you think, right? Because like that was brought up to you know, because it was like part of his book too. Um, and from what I remember, that was just Noah's perspective. It was not Allison. That's the thing, though. He's he's on drugs and hallucinating, and still, yeah, I don't know. So if I mean, but if this is Noah's perspective, you know, with the rape situation, who do we believe? I'm having a hard time believing. I do. We think we'll ever find out. No, it's up to us. Yeah, it's up to us to dig deep. Like you know I what? I, 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 clips. I, I still feel that it's not rape. <laughs> I know it's you not. don't. I, it's, I, I, it's, I do. I do. Yeah. I still do because... And I think that's what's great about our podcast. We can have differing <laughs> opinions, you know? You think Gunther's Sometimes really the there. <laughs> you think Gunther's really there you know and I think, I think he's not real. You know what? Part of it, honestly, I think some of those scenes, I think he's really there. I think every flashback, no, 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 he's, no, no. he's yeah, there. Yeah, he's there. But some of the actual scenes, no. he's actually, yep. Okay, we'll find out. He's at the salon with his wife. And we'll find out. <laughs> Eating yeah. a burger. We shall find out. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's that. That, <laughs> that <laughs> is that. That and is I hope... that. So definitely a lot more. Um, it's a lot more It's a lot more interesting than because last Because we have, scene. though, we have the parallels. But I am curious. I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think we should keep doing the parallel clips? Are they better? Is it confusing? Is what it is confusing? it? I feel like if you're listening, you should have watched it. And if you watched it, then you know what's happening. Or maybe we should cut it off and be like, hey, you know, this is someone's scene or whatever. I don't know. Let us know. We're not really sure. I kind of like the change of uh, tones, though. Me too, because that's <laughs> it's easy to tell. Yeah. I, I love it. I love the parallels um, and the differences. It's great. Cool. Yeah, Let man. us know. You know what? The bottom line is Helen just, 
She's a mess inside. Deep inside, she's just a hot ass mess, and that's how she sees herself. <sighs> I just want to hug her. But outside, she's just like this she wanna... covert affair yeah. Helen. She's just like, mm, cool. Both Helens get some cook. drugs. Yeah. Here's here's Ambien, my favorite. I don't know. I want to know who's the real Helen here. Who's the real Helen? You gonna tell us? I don't know. I don't know. I like I like the covert affair Helen. Me too. She's just cooler. Yeah. Turtle just cooler, neck, man. black turtle turtle neck. Yeah, she's about no, to spy. um, no. What is what is that lip? That weird lip thing that she does on her perspective? Because that's what happens when she's sad. She like pouts her mouth all the time. Yeah. Pouty mouth. Pouty mouth. Brushes her hair. <laughs> Doesn't br- ratty hair. Yeah, man. Well, whatever, girl. So what are your predictions for the rest of the season? Jesus, I don't There's even only, know, girl. Only three eps left. I, just, I know. I have no clue where to go from here. Because I'm so torn about Gunther being real and not real. He's not real. You know? I mean, he's, you know, he's real. He's not there. I just want him to be real so we know why fucking Noah is so fucking crazy. Because so. of the drugs. <sighs> drugs with a Z. So my prediction is that this is not really a prediction. It's like I want everyone to be together. Me like, too, man. They don't make those promotional four cast photos for nothing. If yeah, no one's gonna be in scenes. So together. I feel like this whole we're on the episode seven right now, and I feel like everyone is, you know, there's this one story going on in New York, New Jersey. There's another going. There's another story going on in Montauk. So now I feel like I want them all combined. Me too. I want season so, two. Like season two was. Like season one was. My prediction is, it's not really a prediction, but it's more like a hope that I feel like <laughs> consolidate all these stories together and, and, and let us know what's going on. You know? Me too. I'm getting sick of this shit. <laughs> I'm getting sick of it. Tell us how you really feel. I, l- I love this show, but what the fuck? Like, well, I get it's, it. It's, like renewed, I said, it's renewed for season I know, four, I know so, that, that, you know. That, that they can take their time with this shit. But I'm like, that was the beauty of the week to week. We got two perspectives, and we got to see what was happening in everyone else's worlds. Now we got two no one Helens. Like, I get it. That we can't just hop over to, to Montauk. But it's like, I want them so bad. I need, like, a... I need some... Be- like, I need a beach. Yeah. I need... I'd rather go to fucking Block Island again. Yeah. Like, give me some light. It's so dark. Something, man. I need something. I, I want to see Joni riding a pony and falling off over and over again. I'd watch that. <laughs> I'd rather see that. I'd rather see Allison bake a million fucking terrible cakes. Yeah. Then, <laughs> Jesus, then... you're really passionate. <laughs> I'm looking at you right now, and you're really passionate about this. So yeah, I mean, I mean that's how you know it's real. I just, I just, I just want everything combined. Yeah, when everyone about together, that? that's all. So yeah, there's that's my prediction, and a hope. <laughs> it's my hope. It's a hopeful prediction. It's a hopeful prediction, and I'm just why the fuck did we get fucking Juliet's perspective? You know, like uh, why? Side. Why are we not getting Whitney or fucking you know Nina. Nina's perspective? Give us Nina. Nina, man. Nina, Nina would like have a got, good fucking perspective. She looked like she got a whole bottled up like perspective waiting for us to see. Yeah. Waiting for us to understand. It looks like she's just like waiting in the corner. She's like, yo, it's my it's turn. It's my turn It's yet. my fucking turn it's to my let turn us know. Yet. So please, please, let us, you know. So that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's, we're let done. Let us know. That's it. Those are our feels. <laughs> Um, we're really passionate about this I know, episode. We're, I don't know why, because we're so over it. We're just, I'm over it. I'm over fucking Gunther. Like, unless you're feeding me burgers, I don't want to see you. That burger looks good, though. That burger did look good. So, good yeah, please, you know, follow us on Twitter. We're passionate about that. <laughs> yeah, follow, we are on all the social media platforms, um, except Facebook. Find us at Other POV POD. POD. Other, other POV POD. POD. Um, we are on SoundCloud, other POV pod, um, and we are on all of the podcast things. If you are on iTunes, if you're yeah. on Stitcher, if you're on any of the podcast things, we are on there. So check out The Other Perspective. Subscribe. Tell your friends. If they watch The Affair, if they want to listen to two assholes, give their opinions <laughs> about stuff. 
if you um, want to listen uh, listen to us take on a challenge next week of nut yeah you know, we're not gonna cuss next we're week. we're not gonna cuss next week please subscribe because i don't think we can do it uh, <laughs> let's see if we fail or not <laughs> Um, thanks to everyone who's listened so far, has just literally given their ears to us. Um, we appreciate you. Um, continue to spread the word, and we will be back next week, hopefully with some Cole and some Allison. And yes, then, for sure. I need to go get a lobster roll. I'm starving. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. Later.